Good day, watchers. Today I have a piece from a new brand. You would think I've covered all of this by now, but Boltony is not something that I have reviewed before. They do seem to produce a lot of homage type watches. Have a look at your website for more details if you wish. So getting into today's piece, this is the packaging very much generic with the brand name printed there. Spinability, actually that nearly fell off the table there, but that's actually pretty good. That's a powder four out of five, I reckon. Uh, so, you know, just kind of tough material there, um, just a carry case, which is, you know, I guess quite convenient. You can carry anything you want in here. Uh, warranty card, you know, fill it in. Uh, in fact, it's actually filled in this time. So good on them. They're actually filling it in and not leaving it blank. Uh, not sure if it will actually function. There's a multi-caliber instruction manual, which I will not be going into today. And just showing this to you in further detail guys this is what they call the sandwich california dial s4009h is the model number it's pretty much just a designation uh, for those of you who know this is of course a panerai radio mirror homage nothing uh you know short of that is very obviously a radio mirror homage here right so uh the price on the website, you know, at the moment, I think it's a slight discount, 160 USD, which is pretty darn good for what they are offering here, I reckon. First up, of course, let's go into the movement as I usually do. So you would think that after doing this for, I don't know, five years or so, I have covered all the budget movements available, but I have not actually covered this movement before. This is the Seagull ST. 3600 pretty darn good looking movement i have to say you know the stats down the left 17 joule movement 21600 beats per hour so kind of that mid-range speed there i think the hour reserve is supposed to be 48 hours but it's difficult to absolutely confirm this uh, this doesn't actually hack uh, it is a manual winding watch of course it is not an automatic watch there is no rotor uh, that you can see at the back there uh, the rated accuracy again i am unable to pin this down but i gotta say the detected accuracy on my time grapher app here is fantastic it is running about plus one or two seconds per day every time i have kind of tried to test this okay moving on to the actual case then so guys this is absolutely you know, it's it's a gorgeous case, right? But they didn't design it. It's absolutely taken from Panerai. So this is a 44 millimeter wide. So here is 44 millimeters wide, 316 L steel cushion style case, very much radio mirror here. The thickness to the top of the crystal there is only 12.8 millimeters thick. So they've you know kept it fairly thin, but you know I guess it's easier to do that if it's not an automatic. Uh, the the lugs here, or I should say the straps here, are 24 millimeters at the lugs here. These are, of course, um, not the traditional type lugs that you see in other watches. These are what we call wire lugs here, right? The classic uh, radio mirror style. The lug to lug distance, if you're going to measure roughly between my thumbs there, it is only 46 millimeters because really it hugs the case pretty closely. Overall weight uh, on leather straps is just 96 grams, right? Very light on the wrists, you know, very, very comfortable. It is not something that definitely is bothersome to me at this type of weight. Uh, now these wire lugs, of course, they, they actually uh, remove by these screws here. So I will try to uh, kind of insert a video there to show how it comes out. I'm not gonna do it right here in front of the camera, but you know, pretty pleasant, you know, unscrew the screws and it comes out. That's how you would take out the strap and change it out if you know if you were wanting to do that. In terms of finishing, as you can see, you know, hundred percent polish. Well, absolutely one hundred percent polished here. There is no, um, you know, there is no brushing uh, in any of these uh, transitions here. But you know, I think that's the Panerai does it like that, so they've actually kind of just gone with that. Uh, you can see there's a screw down, large screw down, large window, screw down display back. Uh, there's a plain crown, there's no branding there, but it's a, you know, a conical crown there, which is screw down as well. The water resistant rating they've gone for here is 100 meters. Moving on to this dial now here. So this is a matte black dial, right? This is really just a plain, uh, I guess the base Panerai radio mirror you might get, matte black. 
sandwich effect. I'm not sure whether it's a full sandwich. I, I, I very much doubt it is actually an absolutely full sandwich, but you do have that 3D, you know, punched in numerals. So California index style here, Roman up the top, uh, Arabic numerals down the bottom with kind of hashes at three, six, nine, and the triangle at 12, right? That's a classic California Dow. Um, peripheral printed railroad chaptering. Uh, and it's got polished blue baton hands. Why did they go for blue? I'm not sure, but this is what you're getting. So polished blue baton style hands. There is no seconds here. It's just hours and minutes. Loom on all the sandwich indices, of course, along with the main hands and the loom shot right here for you guys to see how that looks like in the dark. Right on top of the dial, what we have is a very lightly domed sapphire crystal. All right, there is some AR there. It's not the most fantastic AR, but there is some anti-reflection there. Uh, lightly domed with a slight box edge. I don't know whether you truly call that a box edge. I guess there's an edge there. Uh, it doesn't go flush into the bezel there. And that's what you have. In terms of the band or the strap, right? Nothing very special. It's kind of a closed stitch pattern here. Black leather, thick, you know, as per Panerai and a polished PV style, pre-V style, pre-Vendome style buckle, I should say, and that's very much just taken from, uh, you know, the homage uh, ownership Panerai here. Right, so that's it, guys. That's the description. Let's snap it on the wrist for a wrist shot for you guys now. And there you have it, the Boltony Radio Mount homage sandwich style California dial on my 17 centimeter wrist. So it is a large watch, but because the lugs are actually fairly close in, it actually sits okay, right? And remember, under 13 millimeters to stick there, and it's a 44 millimeter wide watch. And that's how it looks like on this Panerai style strap. Okay, so that's the entire uh, watch description here. What have I absolutely enjoyed about this? Well, look, I think it's a well done Panerai Radio Mirror homage. It absolutely is very nicely done. You know, nicely finished case, no complaints there. You know, it really is quite nicely done. A great looking movement, I have to say. This movement, you know, again, I'm surprised I haven't actually touched this before, but it is actually a very nice looking movement through that very large window, which makes use of the size of this movement. Uh, includes that, you know, that 3D sandwich effect dial, right? Maybe not a true, true sandwich, but it's pretty nicely done. Overall, it is an absolutely fantastic looking piece, but hey, the, the looks are stolen, so no credit to them for any design here. It is absolutely an homage, but hey, it is, it is a great looking piece, I have to say. And it, it gives you a chance to get the Radio Mir feel in a quality package, a, a, a package with you know pretty fairly done execution here at a budget price. The case really does sit supremely well on the on the wrist. It is just so comfortable and there's something magic about this cushion design. Are there any weaknesses to this? You know, at $160, not much to complain of. You know, California dial, I would have to say, not my preference, right? I prefer, I guess, the plain, you know, 36912 dial. You know, they do have a version of that and I probably would prefer that one, but hey, this is what I'm reviewing uh, today. And, you know, the only other thing I'd say is the blue hands, not sure about that. Looks pretty odd. Looks odd to me. I, I probably would choose to make that black if I was designing this watch, but they've gone with blue. Not entirely sure why, but hey, that's what it is. Overall, I have to say, if you're looking for a nicely done sterile dial radio mirror homage, I, I think it's probably quite hard to do much better, particularly at this price range. So there you go, my thoughts on this watch. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.